Alrighty, so for those of you that don't know, and most of you that do know, Wonderland has presented a concept of a launched wing coaster that will take up the back left portion of Wonder Mountain um, and launch you into the sky over Wonder Mountain and then do a course. Um, this has stirred up quite a lot of reactions. A lot of people are worried about what rides need to get removed for this. I definitely am here to say that don't worry, Vortex ain't going anywhere, neither is Thunder Run. The only ride that has a chance, and again, doesn't even guarantee that this one is on the chopping block either, is Wonder Mountain's Guardian. So, so far, no rides rumored uh, to be remo being removed for this ride. Um, but the next question was, the plot of land that this coaster takes up, it's so small. Well, this video is going to show you guys that that's not true, and that there is so much more land to work with. But nonetheless... What is a launched wing coaster? A launched wing coaster is essentially a wing coaster, for those that don't know, I'm gonna show you on the screen right now, that launches you, instead of using a lift hill, into elements. Always, usually, starting with an Immelman, like most B&Ms. Um, with that in mind, um, I truthfully understand the debate going on uh, what, with why this coaster? Wonderland needed something more intense. I'm sick of B&Ms. Um, and I can definitely tell you guys that guests are sick of B&Ms too. I posted this on my uh, TikTok and a lot of the comments were like, this is just Yukon Striker. And I know that the park is probably going to be upset with my opinion on this, but they are making the wrong decisions. I, I am here to stand by they are making the wrong decisions now. Guests are cluing in that our rides are all the same and feel the same. And I posted literally this, and I know that we don't know what Wonderland's going to do with their launch wing coaster yet, but a lot of people were like, this is just Yukon Striker. This looks like Yukon Striker. So I am here to just put that in your heads, that there is a opinion forming among the general public where they're understanding that the B&Ms that Wonderland are building are all, all essentially along the same avenue in terms of intensity and look and feel. And that is a problem that Wonderland and Cedar Fair are going to become aware of, and they probably already are, and they're going to need to make changes. Now, let's get into the plot of land that this wing coaster could take up. So I had a feeling that it wouldn't just take up international show place and the mountain and that plot of land even though they could do a lot with there i was like no this has got a head somewhere when they launch something it has speed it's got a head somewhere so i had a feeling that it was going to head towards extreme sky flyer with the survey markings ranging from 50 to 90 something for this specific project um we were able to find that these survey markings headed out exactly where i thought towards extreme sky flyer so i mapped it out for you guys here are the red dots, all the survey markings for this specific project. This doesn't guarantee that all of them, you know, it, we don't know where the project starts and ends in terms of the survey markings. Um, but I do have a feeling that this is the general lot for this project. I then went and drew a yellow line for the area that they could take up. The red dots don't necessarily mean area. Again, they are creating a 3D world for Bulger and Mabillard or whatever company to design a project in. Um, so this is a general idea of the plot of land that Cedar Fair is looking to use for this project. Again, there could be some small errors here. There could be some, um, overlapping of two projects, but I definitely think this is the plot of land that would be used for the launched wing coaster. It makes a lot of sense. Um, and the markings are in and behind the service road as well. You could see them with a zoom camera looking over back lots fence. But nonetheless, um, I'm a lot more excited seeing this. Um, with the small plot of land that we had envisioned first, it looked very like, okay, it's going to launch, do an Immelman, do a couple elements alongside the mountain, and then it's going to go into the break run. A very short, simple launch coaster. No, um, I feel a lot more comfortable now that that's not the case and that they have a lot more land to work with. And then, you know, that means we could be looking at a pretty cool coaster at the end of the day, even if it is a B&M and a launched wing. Like, it'll be pretty exciting. So I am excited. Um, I do still stand by this isn't exactly what the park needed. I get a lot of people are like, yes, B&M, they're, they're reliable, they're safe, they're, they work. Yes, that's true. That is very true. But when you have an attendance and people that are looking for something new and unique to do, you can't keep building the same old, same old. It will get boring. And it is getting boring, as you heard me discuss with the TikTok and the general public cluing in that Wonderland is essentially becoming a very just original, safe, same old, same old. So they are going to need to start thinking outside the box. And I know that they are aware of that. 
So hopefully we start seeing that sometime soon. Nonetheless, um, that's all I have to present to you guys on the launched wing concept. I am heading to the park now to go film some other things because this park is completely being surveyed all over. There are some serious plans in the planning process. Again, keyword planning process. That doesn't mean they're gonna come to fruition. I just said the word wrong, oh well. But it doesn't mean it's gonna happen. Um, so, but it's really exciting to see that Cedar Fair is getting the whole park surveyed and planning their options for all areas of the park. Stay tuned because there's gonna be lots of videos. Also stay tuned, about an hour or two after this video, there's gonna be a video about dwindling attendance at all Cedar Fair parks. Have a good one guys, bye.